right, so this is uh, this is out of a five series, a six HP nineteen, and yeah. we got the valve body apart, and we're going to be replacing. This is the this three is four the, uh, stroke valve here. Okay, and then we got this is the mechatronics control unit. This is the uh, separator plate where you can see where it's it's coming apart and bleeding in a few places. And there's your solenoid uh, solenoids right there. There's seven of them. And then this is a end plug. End and plug. We're replacing all of the end plugs because they get wear grooves on them. Like uh, I don't know if you can see yeah. that right above my thumbnail. Yep. Yeah. Okay. You can see some it's grooving like in right there. there at the edge of it. Okay. And it causes low vacuum at the source right here. It's going to cause low vacuum. And uh, basically, what it does is it's an O-ringed end plug that we put in. And then there's a few springs and stuff, and these accumulators control the quality of shift. And as you can see, when you push them down, they should spring up. And they're a little slow to spring up. Yeah, like this one is stuck down yep, completely. Yeah, see that. This one's still got a little spring to it. Yep. A little and, spring. And how about the pressure on the actual clutch in the training? Was it, it checked out okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Steve saw that too. Okay. And then these are all That's little good. maintenance items that we replace with the zip kit. Yep. But it's it's two filters, some check balls. The check balls get smaller in diameter over the years. And um, those two little valves right there that you see that are pointed, those are leak down valves for the torque converter clutch so that it holds fluid when uh, the, the car shut off. And then there's the hardware. We're putting a new hardware kit in as far as the screws go. Or are those the updated ones? No, those, we're gonna replace those. I'm gonna replace those too. I got those on. I think I got those on there already. Okay. Yeah. Great. Thanks.